Hello. Hey, what up, man? Yes, how you doing? Good. <clears throat> how are you? Uh, good, good. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, shit. Nice. Sorry about the mix-up. No problem. Uh, actually, I, I was there at 11, but uh, uh, the, the, the guy we're, we're, who we are in communication with, uh, he didn't uh, told me that we were in a different time zone. So <laughs> here in Canada, it's 2 p.m. Oh. I, like, I, was, I was there in the morning, and it was like, where is he? <laughs> and I, that, I saw that, that when I woke that. up. I saw yeah. that you were in there, and I was like, oh, shit. So my bad, man. Well, it's no good problem. that we have you. Sir. And we appreciate your time. Um, I, I started listening to your music, Suicide for a King. And, yeah. man, it is amazing music. Thank you. Um, I get hundreds of of um, inquiries about interviews every single day and this one stood out thanks thanks really appreciate it, man it's hard to stand out too bro i mean think about it there's especially in this covid time frame you mm -hmm. got thousands of people making music and mm -hmm. just like every single day like even to this right now like i haven't i'm not sure if you can see it yeah, but yeah. 50 just 50 i haven't even went through today and it's just all music i'm trying to stop there all right well yeah, it's yeah, I, 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 I get the point <laughs> <laughs> and, and you guys, it's amazing um talk to me a little bit about about this uh project that you you're working on suicide for a dream or i mean suicide for a king uh, and how did it start uh sorry uh, it, uh, the, i didn't catch the last sentence i think it cuts a bit um how did how did it start well, uh, it started. I actually none of the guys uh, known each other before the before the project. Uh, Frederick, our rhythm guitar, started the project. I think three years ago, uh, he recruited some people and started making music. But after a moment, some members were, were didn't didn't, uh, didn't stay, and he started recruiting. And from a, a guy who know a guy, he he heard about other musicians who came up and each member bring another member with him so they they kind of uh, all meet together but the, the the guy before didn't 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 know the guy uh b before him so no, nobody's uh, didn't know anybody and for myself uh they actually put uh an ad on kijiji who is kind of the craigslist for you in the u.s where, where they, they were looking for a singer and one night I just decided to apply and when I arrived uh, for the audition I just uh, they tell me that even the bassist where well, it was his first jam too so everybody didn't know each other but we're all in the same place for the same reason we we're all passionate about music and I think this is what makes us connected right away and your voice is beautiful with everything is that are you doing both parts yes uh all the vocals in the band they, is me we're, we're doing it is it hard for you doing that because you have to be so you have to take care of your voice throughout life you know what i mean you can't smoke i mean i would imagine you can't smoke right um yeah. it, it, and maybe even cannabis might be something that might harm your voice too um, how do you take care of your voice and um, what precautions do you take to make sure you have that tool for the future? Uh, I'm really careful about all the, 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 all, all the, those kind of things. Uh, first of all, I, when, I, when, I, when we are on tour, I don't uh, speak, scream and uh, uh, yelling, uh, sh shout all the time. I'm really, because we're, it's, not, it's not like we're, now we're back back then where the the rock star where they did parties every night. So you have to be really focused on what on what you're doing because it's a it's a even if it's a passion, it's a job too. So I try to not speak uh, and shout and yell all the day, just focusing focus focus focusing on uh, on the show on that night. Uh, drink a lot of water, warming up before each set. Uh, I don't smoke. I don't drink alcohol too. Man. Well, maybe one beer for from time to time, but not that much. And the I I get a knowledge 
for what I what I have to perform on stage because for a singer it's really important to understand what you're doing because if you don't understand you're probably going to hurt yourself on stage but if you understand the whole process of it you can do any, any, anything you want have you been trained yes oh, uh, yeah. for the screen part i i got trained on my own uh with the experimentation uh, the learning how to put the vocal cords together i also listened the Melissa cross dvd the zen of screaming and uh, with a lot of experimentation too that that was what has helped with, with the with the screaming part and for the clean part i got a private uh, tuition for uh, to, to teach me how to how to arrange how to uh, manipulate my sounds and she my teacher did also give me a a bonus on the, the knowledge for how the word uh, how the throats works and the larynx stuff like that so uh you, you, you can't see your instrument but you have you really have to understand if you want to progress you're the dream lead singer i mean you got the look you understand that you have to take care of your shit you know what i mean i've been i've been in the music business for fucking 13 12 13 years this is my 13th year february and mm -hmm. I, in, I interviewed people and they just said, you know what, fuck it, man. I don't give a fuck. I'm just going to drink. And, and they would smoke. And if it catches up to me, I'll just adapt. And you understand, man, that, that this is your, your moneymaker. This is your tool. This is your, you know, instrument. And you need to take care of it. And, and um, that right there is so, my hats are is so off to you, sir. That's an, an amazing thing I love to hear. Thank you. Um, how would you describe Suicide for a King? If you had to describe it to somebody who's never heard of Suicide for a King. Hmm, that's a good question. And it's a complicated one because even if I'm in a project, I have a hard time sometimes explaining it to people. But if I can explain it in a, in a sentence, it's a combination of each style that every guy's in the band love. Uh, we got a, a prog a, a approach of uh, a prog music, a lot of progression in our, in our song. Uh, you can see a lot of uh, modern modern metal metalcore vibes in the in the, in the song. Uh, for myself, I always say it, and I'll say it again. I'm a former emo, so you can definitely catch a, a little bit of nostalgia yep. in the song that were ba back in the days where the the emo scene emo scene was in the top of everything and you can hear uh, a little bit of uh gentle inspiration especially in the rhythm because my guitarist player frederick he uh, is a big fan of band like north lane silent planet and band anime so the kind of how we do how we do it we take each uh each inspiration of every member in the band and put it together and this is what gives a unique sound where everybody can pick up with uh, a little their, a little of their taste in music in or so. Who is your favorite emo band in, in your time when you were growing up? Oh, it's, it's easy because it's all, uh, at this day, it's, uh, it's again my favorite band at this day. So I'll say my both favorite band are On The Road and Devil's Wear Prada. Oh, the Devil Wears Prada, man. I've interviewed those guys a few times and I've been on work tour with them. Oh shit! Okay, dude, tell me like that. You guys seem like you'd be perfect for warp tour. A dream, <laughs> like yes, I, I always wanted to do it. I didn't even uh, went to a warp tour back then when it was still coming in Canada, and I always regretted my whole life. Back then, they were only they were coming with uh, in Toronto and Montreal, but after a couple of years, there was only Toronto missing, and they didn't come after this in Canada. So I always regretting never been of one of them, and especially I, uh, uh, when I heard that the World Tour was closing last year, I was like, oh man, we never get to play on this amazing tour. So it's always a bit like kind of nostalgia right there too. Well, I know Kevin, and um, it's not the end. Um, he still has other ideas coming through, and um, there's a, still a shot for you, man. So when, hopefully in 2022, 
when everything comes back around, you know, this time next year, just all you have to do is just write him an email and send him your music. And I promise you, you know, he's very responsive. He will not tell you no, or if he does, it's because he doesn't believe in you. But I don't see that. I don't see it, him not believing in, in this band. Oh, I, I'll def we'll definitely do that. You, you, can, you can count on this. And hopefully I'm covering it and I can meet you in person. Yes, that would be amazing, man. Um, you have a single out right now, Worse Than Us. Yes. Talk, talk to me about that, that single. Uh, and what is it about? What is that song about? And what does it mean to you to make this? Uh, I think this is the first time I've seen you guys' uh, music coming through. Is this the first single you're releasing? Uh, no. Uh, the year before that, we, were, we released uh, our, our first EP uh, called Ocean Within. And after that, we released a single in November called Misconception. And this is the single we're releasing uh, in February, the worst than us. Uh, the song speaks about uh, how can you describe it? Did you ever, Tim, did you, did you ever uh, be angry for some reason? Yeah. Of course, yes, everybody does. And for, my, for myself, sometimes I get a, a hanger vibe. And when, when I, it, it comes face, to, uh, when I face that, that kind of emotion, it, it's sort of like there's a bad rating for me to follow of probably bad decision, but it seems so easy to follow this path. And this song talks about how you should not get influenced by the anger that's coming in a moment because the path's going to be easy to follow, but it, it's not, it's not the, the way you, you, uh, you would have done things if you were in a more, more calmly situation if you have time to think about it. So it's really about not taking the wrong path uh, influenced by your hanger. Nice. What made you decide that this is a song that you'd want to release as a single? Uh, that's a good question. I, actually, we our first song that we released uh, in two, uh, the, right, right before Misconception was a, a longer track. is a five minute track. And explore a, a lot of uh, influences that we love to, to make in our music. And this one was a short and fast song, aggressive song. So we wanted to give like a uh, boat song to the, to the audience to show, hey, we are able to make longer song and we're able to make short song. Both are, are different pattern, but the, the boat, boat song are, are going to make travel a lot. Even if it's a five minute or a three minute song, I think the the uh, the people listening will not check the time out. They they will just listening and like, oh shit, it always been five minutes. Oh, oh it, it just three minutes. I that's what we're trying to do with our music. It, it's a whole travel traveling process toward the sound. If I can describe it this way. Yeah, it's a, a you're, it's a journey. Mm. Yes. Uh. Um, besides music, what are some some of the things that you're into personally? Oh, for my but for myself, uh, I do a, a lot of things beside the music. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a firefighter uh, part time now because I, I'm focusing on school on the on business school. Uh, I don't know if that's what. Well. Can you sign this or any? Um, is it just right now? Yeah, so no, 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 there's a phone. Oh, that's, is, that, is that yours? Yeah. Is it four or three? Uh, four, four, three. You did the first one. Oh, I, I did. Because I, I got distracted with you. I'm sorry. No problem. Uh, so you're a firefighter? I'm a firefighter, a uh, part-time right now because I, I, I've been, 
I'm going back to school. Uh, I, I, I actually, I'm at school for in business school uh, because I'm, I'm an entrepreneur too. I have a business uh, on the side. And uh, what do you do? Also, on the side? Uh, oh, I have a snow removal uh, company here in Canada. There you go. Man, and, you. Oh, yeah, and also I'm a comedian, also <laughs> actors, and uh, I love to write uh, script and uh, sketches, funny sketches, uh, like stand-up comedies too. I'm doing too. a lot of things uh, I, on, I, on this side. I, I do stand-up comedy. Uh, I sorry, what? I do stand-up comedy. Oh, for real? Yeah. Awesome, man. That's a, uh, it's... Ever since I was a little kid, that's the first thing in the entertainment business that sort of drew me close to it or drew me in, you know, that I just, I loved making people laugh. So. Yeah, it's, it, I think that that's what's the it drive me when I, when I, I write things, I'm like, oh shit, people are gonna, gonna love this. And I already expect their, their, their reactions. Okay, so I, I, I really love the making those kind of things actually for the band. Uh, for promoting our singles, uh, we release uh, funny sketches for for each song that we're releasing. So, th all of those sketches uh, is part of the, the work I'm doing. Uh, I'm writing sketch uh, with the script stuff like that, and it's funny and it's kind of it, it works to promote our single. So, I'm really into that kind of things too. Nice, dude. I love it. Love it. Um, what is Okay, how is your quarantine then? I know that oh. you, you seem like you're a busy dude. And when quarantine happens, you know, in America or even in California, like we just barely, our stay at home order got lifted on the 25th of January. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really been, we can't do nothing. You know, stand up is a way, even if you are, um, even my podcast, it sort of gets frowned upon because there's too there's five people there. And um, so how is it like in Canada with with the, the quarantine? Well, for right now, uh, we're on the lockdown. Oh, yeah. so nobody, can, nobody can go out after 8 p.m. And between between 8 and 5 p.m., nobody is allowed outside, except if you have, uh, you have to work or you have a business and stuff like that. But ex ex except of that, no one is allowed and uh, everything's is kind of closed here like the restaurant and uh, the the venues the show everything is canceled the just the strict minimums is, is open right now um have you gotten the have you got covid yet uh for myself no and my entourage no neither uh i don't know i and uh, I don't know anybody close to me who got the virus, but uh, I, I know that they were doing this because the cases were higher, higher, higher. So they wanted to, 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 uh, to stop the spread. So they just kind of closed everything. And uh, we're right now we're, we're waiting to see what's going to happen because a lot of, uh, of the business right here, especially the restaurant, are, are struggling a bit to, to reopen because they we in this summer they they were uh the the restaurant were allowed to reopen but for a short period of time and now they're closing it again so it's it's, it's kind of desperate the desperate situation for them because uh the the hard the, the the times are hard for them yeah it's it's real it's a, a difficult time we live in right now mm -hmm. yeah. regarding all the uh, the the quarantine and the virus itself um, I end up, I, re, I got the virus in January. Oh, okay. And it was, it was, I mean, it's pretty, I mean, I can see why, you know, it feels, it, it sucks. And it's so easily, like, the hard thing about this whole thing is, like, let's say that me and you are in person right now, and I have it. And then my, you breathe in my, my air that, mm -hmm. that makes you have it, but you're not going to have no symptoms for five days. So, so, so for those five days, you're touching things or you're breathing and other people are getting it. So it's just, it's very hard to easily spread. Was it hard to live with? Uh, I don't know. Let's see if you can talk a bit, a, a bit about it. Uh, was it like a, a big, hard, 
like harder than the flu itself or mm, no not harder than the flu um if you my wife however she had uh, she has asthma so mm -hmm. with her it was harder for her than the flu because yeah. of um the virus attacks the proteins in your lungs and it makes yeah. it harder for you to breathe and therefore you have less room in your lungs to take in oxygen so um, her oxygen level was was pretty low but after three days it got better you know and it, but i can imagine imagine you know one thing we have to take into consideration is it attacks the weak i'm strong i go to the gym frequently so it didn't not strong not worse than a flu in america we have a lot of unhealthy people because our lives are so fast a lot of um a lot of decisions are made when you were going home at the end of the night like oh shit we don't have any meat defrosted to cook dinner let's go to mcdonald's or you know it's, it's very easy to make unhealthy decisions and, and in america we we're very unhealthy we're very out of shape and so it it the virus will attack those who are the weakest Mm. So yeah, that's well, yeah. very nuts. Hard time. Hope it's gonna be better soon, cause uh, right now it's almost gonna be a year since uh, it all began. Yeah. Especially for us in Canada, uh, uh, the last show we did was in March, and the last show I attempted was uh, 11 March. And the 12th March, everything was shut down, like in a day. Like I remember in uh, the 11th March of last year, I was at the uh, to plant a seed tour. We, we came as Roman, there was a Prado, they secure in Gideon. I was there. They were there. They they got their old all uh, tour plan, and that what I I, can't, I still can't believe that 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 was the last show allowed ever because the day after that. It was all closed and I mean, all closed. I was like, oh shit. And it's already been a year since the, that last show. And it's like, I hope to see uh, the light at the, at the end of the tunnel soon. Yeah. I was, a, so on the 13th is when we closed here. And that, that night I had tickets to go see Fitz and the Tantrums. And they canceled at two o'clock and the show was at five. Oh. I know. And I really, you know, I really wanted to, to see them. It was one of the people, you know, one of the people I really wanted to see. <clears throat> um, but I, I, it, it, there's a hole in your heart, you know, mm -hmm. there's a part of the, of, of us that need music and need to feel music. I don't, and that's the only way I can describe it. Music's so beautiful, man. There's no race. There's no, religion there's no age it's just music and it's it's, it's something spiritual mm. and that's why you should be proud of what you do man because i can feel it you made me feel your music and that is that's an amazing thing to amazing power to have thank you man i love to i i because i i already did it for for the first one for myself because i love I love doing those kind of sound. I love uh, writing things that create, especially create something new. And at the end of the day, every guy's doing for it for itself because it's our passion to create stuff. But when we can share it with people and it touched their personal life, this was this is what this is where we, it it touched us also personally because I was like, oh shit, we are we we got the power of doing those kind of thing, and this is really interesting and new a new way of thinking for us because uh we're just doing it for for ourselves first and after that a lot of kids like keep listening to it and they come to us and they hey man it's amazing uh, I, I really like it got me today it's like ah oh. i was like oh man man i just did it in my my bedroom for, for myself and now other people start enjoying too and it's just a an amazing feeling how you can you know, build those kind of situation, and we're definitely look to 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 do those kind of thing again and again and again. And this is drives us, I think. Fucking a, dude, you guys are doing it.
I got a couple more questions for you. Are are you a wrestling fan by any chance? Uh, so, sorry, uh, what? Are you a wrestling fan by any chance? A wrestling fan. Um... Back in the days, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, I remember uh, my favorite. Who was my favorite? That's, oh, that's a good question. My favorite wrestler. Mm, uh, I think it was John Cena. John Cena. Back in the days when when he doesn't make movies or I think he just started his rap career. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The those kind of thing it, with his word life, uh, <laughs> uh, American Punch on it. The his his attitude attitude was too too cocky. I, I love that. He, he was giving <laughs> a hell of a good show. Yeah, um, I know a lot of wrestlers from there, that area in Canada mm -hmm. uh, or in Canada, uh, Jericho and um, Kevin Owens. They're also from uh, Montreal, I believe, in that area. So, um, yeah, it was wrestling is always you know a great thing and. Um, my, and my last question is, what is your favorite app? My favorite app, like uh, my uh, on App Store, stuff like that? Yeah, on your phone, yeah. <sighs> oh, um, I think I'm going to have to go with the one I pass a lot of times on my phone. So I think I'm going to go with Facebook. Facebook. The, the, the reason why... Uh, Beside like the, the old feed and stuff like that, it helped, it simplified my life to connect with people, uh, to speak with them, organize things. Uh, is there an event uh, where I should attempt? Okay, good. Uh, give me a reminder. So it, it, it helped me to do a lot of things in my casual life. So I'll go with Facebook. I could have chose uh, Tinder also to meet. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not, I'm not uh, at the uh, uh, at the same time as Facebook. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with Facebook just because it helped me doing do business and connect with people, uh, ask things, discover new things. I read article on Facebook, and yeah, uh, Facebook is my choice. <laughs> My man, I appreciate you so much, and good luck with your album. Good luck with your new singer single, "The Worst in Us," uh, available wherever music is consumed. Right? Yeah. Thank you very much for your time, and thank you very much for receiving re receiving me. And I'm sorry for uh, the the small accent. Uh, I'm working on. I it love it. Fucking love it. It's amazing. Well, thank you. Don't lose it. Thank you, man. All right, man. God bless you. And we'll talk to you soon. All right. Have a good day. Have a good day.